Hello, my name is Håkan Ehm. Uh, when I play harmonica through an amplifier, uh, one of my favorite uh, mics is this, Shure SM57. Uh, very nice sound, both clean and also break up if you play it a little bit harder. And then of course if you plug it into an amp you have to plug this mic to an XLR uh, cable and then in the other end an impedance matcher because this is low impedance. So, and then you plug this into the guitar amp. I have tried uh, some stuff to make uh, this microphone sound even better according to my ears and uh, that is to try to uh, uh, make it more airtight you can make that by trying to cupping hard but uh, we can make it even easier and uh, I use uh, bicycle tube part of a, a small part of the bicycle tube and put this over this the grill because you can see here the grill here if you take a nail a stick in here so you can see it comes out here it's no element here it's just air and uh, I have seen uh, that uh, as long as you get from the element uh, the weaker sound it gets you can see the element starts at this level and the harmonica is here so it's two centimeters from the element and uh, it's only foam here so we can try to isolate and make it more airtight by putting this uh, part of a bicycle tube over the grill. It's also this that uh, you can plug it into the amp. If you move this, it will come out noise. And this will be eliminated if you put this uh, little uh, part of the tube. Let's try it. So this is not very easy to do. Uh, maybe it's easier with a, a, a bigger in, inner diameter. I got this from a friend. It was uh, his idea. I got also the, 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 the part of this uh, bicycle tube from him. So by, you can start very carefully so you don't damage the, the grill. Here. And ah, my fingers really hurt after I've done this on several mics, but uh, okay, this one is okay, quite okay. Uh, mm. uh. Ah, come on, for fun. So. Ah. So. Okay. I have some extra material here and that's on purpose because you can do like this. So it looks it looks very nice. And also it uh, allows movements in this direction also a little bit if you screw it a little that means that it's not very big risk that you will damage any part because the rubber is of course flexible
I used was a VHT uh, amplifier, 6 watt, uh, with a 10 inch speaker. And the settings, it was the same settings all the time. Wow, it's too dark here. No. Uh, high power. Tone at the... Uh, well, you can see yourselves. Volume. Harmonica used was uh, Seidel 1847 in key of C. So this part I have chosen to be uh, uh, approximately 5 centimeters. No, uh, 45, 45 millimeters. Uh, the outer diameter is approximately 28. 28 and a half millimeter and the inner diameter is about mm, uh, 25 millimeters uh, what I talked about earlier about uh, coming closer to the element uh, to have a more powerful sound I'll try that on another microphone with uh, very good results. I, buy, I bought this one several years ago uh, and it was not very good for harmonica because it was a vocal microphone very uh, clean and, and, and stiff sound perfect for vocals but I wanted to have more a break up on the harmonica so first I tried here is was a, a, a big ball it was this size so I smashed it down uh, to come closer, that wasn't even that wasn't good enough. So I took this ball away, that uh, damaged ball that was this high first, and then I just cut it uh, to the directly to the element, and it was a very powerful sound. Now I have foam as a protection, and I have a tape around, so it's not very nice, but uh, looking, but a very nice sound. Let's hear. Here is another example, uh, a cheap vocal mic. I've always had it and uh, it never sound good. It had a ball here, like every vocal mic. I took it away, applied it directly to uh, element, it sounded perfect uh, for me. <coughs> and then I had some rubber here, uh, bicycle uh, tube, uh, to make it more airtight and some protection here. So as always with the vocal microphones through amplifier you need an impedance matcher here and an XLR cable. So I really love this sound and it's cheap. So here is the SM Shore SM57 I was talking about with bicycle tube on. Sounds great. I also put that on the silver uh, color mic. It's uh, Shore SD545. <laughs> Sounds great. Uh, I recently bought uh, an Ultimate uh, PE54 from Greg Hoyman. Also uh, rubber on it sounds great and this one I bought uh, I showed you with real blues mojo and uh, really break up in the lower register uh, here's not rubber it's gaffer tape around it and here is rubber again 
the little screamer I showed you last, the, the cheap vocal mic.